Hi everyone, it's Maria. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making Italian ricotta cookies. You need two sticks of softened butter, so that's one cup. We're going to add one and three quarter cups of granulated sugar. Now we're going to cream these two ingredients together. We are now going to add two eggs at room temperature. Add one container, which is 15 ounces, or one and three quarter cups of ricotta cheese. I pre-measured it into this container, just to make it easier. A vanilla extract. And mix until well combined. Separate bowl, I have four cups of all purpose flour. I'm going to be adding one teaspoon of baking powder. and one teaspoon of baking soda. Just mix it. We will add this dry mixture into our wet mixture. mix well. Once the dough is mixed well, we're going to scoop it by teaspoon size portions and roll them and put, place them on an ungreased cookie sheet. I like to use parchment paper on mine and about two inches apart. Once you're done rolling, we're going to place our trays in a 350 degree preheated oven. We will bake them for eight to 10 minutes or until lightly browned. Once they're done, let them cool on the baking sheets for about three minutes before moving them to the cooling racks. We're now ready to make the glaze for the cookies. In this bowl, I've added one and a half cups of powdered sugar. We're going to add about four or five tablespoons of milk, depending on the consistency we need. It's like one and a half. I've added four for now, we can add more after. And we're going to add one teaspoon of uh, anise extract. You can use almond extract or lemon extract or uh, whatever one you want. You can even use vanilla extract, but we've used vanilla extract in the cookie, so we're going to use this one for here. And then we're going to whisk it. This looks like it's a good consistency. If it's too thin, you can add more icing sugar. If it's too thick, you can add a little bit more milk. 
We're going to take our cookies that have been cooling on the cooling rack and we're going to dip them into the glaze we just made. Do about four or five of them. And then start putting your sprinkles. Otherwise the glaze will harden up. And just keep doing that until they're all done. The cookies have cooled, um, the, they've been iced, we've decorated them, now they're ready to eat.